In this brief tutorial, we're going to combine what we've learned about zonal statistics, creating buffers, and use a spatial join to relate the information about our raster file to an area surrounding each point defined by a buffer. At the moment, our human population data are contained in the raster file called VNM POP. UTM, and our individual locations are stored in points called cases. Our goal for this exercise is to create a one kilometer buffer around each individual point and then to summate using the zonal statistics, the human population in each of those buffer polygons. So our first task is to create a buffer file. We can go under Vector, Geoprocessing Buffer, and our input layer is going to be Cases, and our distance is going to be 1,000 meters. I'm going to save this file in my buffering folder. I'm going to call this Cases UTM. 1km buffer. I'm going to run this. It's going to run very quickly and I'm going to end up with a new shape file. If I refresh my browser I have a cases UTM file and if I quickly zoom in I can see that around each individual point I have a new circle polygon for each individual point. Now I have a polygon to serve as a zone to complete the zonal statistics routine. To complete the zonal statistics routine, that's a raster routine, so we're going to go under raster analysis in the processing toolbox, zonal statistics. Our raster layer is going to be our VNM pop, that's our population data. It's a single band, so it's going to by default select band 1. And my vector layer containing zones is going to be that one kilometer buffer we just created. I can give each column that's going to be created in this process, and by column I mean a new attribute in the attribute table of this polygon file. I'm going to call this VNM pop because that's the raster file underscore. So that prefix will now occur in front of every statistic that we calculate. And in our case, we're only going to be interested in the sum. We only want to know the total number of people from that raster file that are within one kilometer of each point. Actually, a one kilometer radius in any direction around the point. Now I can run this. This also will run relatively quickly. And now, if I open the attribute table of my buffer, I can see here that I have VNM pop underscore sum. So I have the human population estimate from the VNM pop raster file, the total number of people for every polygon, <coughs> every individual circle inside of this feature. Now we need to run the spatial join function or we need to capture the information about the population in our new attribute in the buffer file back to our individual points. To perform this analysis in QGIS we're going to go under Vector, Data Management, Join Attributes by Location or what we also refer to as a spatial join. Our input layer is going to be our cases, and the join layer, or the layer that's holding the information that we want to attach to cases, is stored in the buffer. That's the uh, buffer we just created and the attribute that we just populated with the zonal statistics. And if we look at the geometry of our points and our buffers, we can say that the geometric predicate 
is that those points are within those polygons. And we know we've only created one attribute that we're interested in, and that's the VNM pop sum. That's what we just created a moment ago. And we know that it's a one-to-one. -one. For each point, we want to know what's in the buffer behind it or underneath it. And we can create our file here as we've done with previous analyses. So this will be cases UTM pop sub. So I know I've gone and pulled the population in one kilometer, within one kilometer. So we can run this algorithm. We can refresh our browser. And we can get our cases UTM pop sum that we've just created, add it to the map. We see we have a new point file. If we open the attribute table, we'll see now that we have one additional value, a column of values added to our table, and that's the VNM pop sum. So now we've taken the raster information, we've summarized it with a zonal statistics routine within one kilometer circular buffers that we created with a buffer routine around our individual points. To summarize, we started this analysis with two separate GIS format files, a vector file storing case locations or point locations, and a raster file storing human population data. We then performed a buffer analysis to create a new file that's a one kilometer radius buffer around each individual point. We then performed a zonal statistic routine, which adds to that buffer a new attribute column. We then used a spatial join, which created a new point file, which took the column of information out of the buffer and added it as a column of data into our point file. So now at each point location, we have the summarized population within a one kilometer radius around each of those individual points. These data can now be used for other analyses focused on the points, such as producing graduated maps or going on to learn something about those individual locations that requires human population data such as a denominator for a disease ratio calculation.